Today I'm going to be mixing some of my own chicken feed and I'll share a little bit of the recipe with you. I'm going to go out and harvest some stuff from the garden. You going to come help, kid? Yep. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's get some tomatoes. We got some good ones. This weekend uh, was a weekend full of adventure. Um, and uh, one of the things we started this week is uh, mixing our own chicken feed. Yesterday we had the opportunity to spend some time with my family. Went uh, out to my folks for my dad's birthday party. <laughs> and while I was there, I learned something I did not know. My grandfather mixed his own chicken feed. I'm actually not the first person in my family crazy enough to mix my own chicken feed. Well, that one ended up on the ground. So that makes chicken feed. Just really cool to see how God is doing some great things multi-generationally. Um, what I thought was novel and new is actually not all that new. Um, God was doing the same kinds of things in my family two generations ago. Even though my dad didn't want anything to do with the farm, um, I'm discovering a joy and uh, just just really discovering how much fun it is to be close to the land and uh, work with the animals. It's a real simple recipe. It's uh, actually just a whopping five ingredients. And uh, it starts off with some wheat. These are whole grains for the most part. Um, so it's four parts wheat. Let's see what we got here. Get this measured off. In case you're curious, yes, I'm a perfectionist. Ah. There we go. Four pounds a week. Now what? Gonna put some more tomatoes. Some cherry tomatoes. Some cherry. Mmm, I like those. I like those. Two and a half pounds of Milo. Where's that tears? Uh... One pound of black oil sunflower seeds. The birds love this stuff and it's great for protein. There we go, one pound. How many does that take? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven, twelve. I lost one. I dropped it. One pound of oats. My goodness, I didn't know you could count that high. When did you get so smart? <laughs> and then finally, one and a half pounds of soy meal. In a perfect world, I probably wouldn't have the soy meal because I'd like to be as a non-GMO mix, but uh, trying to stay local, buy all my supplies local rather than ordering things in. I had to compromise just to get my protein levels at the right mark. We're putting just a little bit of soy in. They're still coming. We got so many cherry tomatoes out here, it's crazy. Yeah, so crazy. It's super duper crazy. Super duper crazy. And then with all of those ingredients in there, we mix it all up. end up with a pretty good looking feed right there. I think that the chickens will like this quite a lot. Almost looks good enough for to eat for myself. Let's see how low I can still hold it. Cool. Uh, it's still a little heavy. Oh, it was that girl that wanted to be out here. 
<laughs> it wasn't your sister Tirza your mama was talking about. She was talking about the dog. <laughs> Once I've proven that this mix actually works out well, um, I may actually end up working with the uh, local co-op, have them mix the food feed for me. But uh, still working out the quantities, all that good stuff. But that much feed isn't going to go very far. So. There we go. Thanks for your help. You're all dusty now. Mixing chicken feed. Loads of fun, isn't it? I'd say they don't hate it. <laughs> if you want to learn more, be sure and hit that subscribe button. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. <laughs>